taught myself how to play guitar when I was in college and never knew that the Lord would use it so that I might uh, bring it with me as something to offer during worship services in prison. But over the years, it's been so, so nice for the folks here to learn some praise songs. This prison has, uh, was retired about five years ago. We have a regional jail now, so this one isn't in regular use. But it was always good to sing, uh, especially the Christmas hymns at Christmas time with the inmates because uh, they were sorely missing loved ones and uh, they knew the, the Christmas songs right well. And they learned a lot of the modern praise songs and some of the old hymns too while here in jail. One time a fellow who was here, I could tell by his physical appearance, uh, he had abused drugs. He asked me if he could take my guitar and play it during the worship service, and I said, yeah, just so you don't kabong me over the head with it. He assured me he wouldn't, and even though there wasn't a jailer around at the time, as they would let us to do our worship services alone with the group, he took that guitar, and I'm gonna tell you something, there are a lot of gifted people behind bars. 18% <laughs> of high school dropouts are gifted, you probably didn't know that, but this man took the guitar and he played. I was embarrassed that I ever played in front of him when I heard him play and he sang. And you know what he sang? I'll never forget it. You gotta serve somebody. You know, you've got to serve somebody. Now it may be the devil and it may be the Lord, but you know, you gotta serve somebody. The Bible puts it in clear terms like that too. You're either up or down, you're either high or low, you're either serving the Lord Jesus Christ, or you're serving Satan. There is no middle. Even if you say, well, there's, I don't believe any of this, I don't want anything to do with it, that doesn't mean it isn't real. There is no middle. Maybe you'll sing with me this particular praise song. Tight chords. The splendor of Next Sunday, we plan to be broadcasting from out in the field in the Blue Ridge Mountains. You know, a lot of people like to substitute to church for strolling around out in some field, but we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what Teddy Roosevelt said about the Sabbath when he wrote about it for a Ladies Home Journal in 1912. So we hope you'll come back and, and visit our website, the Reynolds Memorial Baptist Church on Facebook, in Sperryville, Virginia. God bless you and keep you. Amen.